Today, I'm introducing the charming Rupert Muldoon, the British painter who uses egg tempura to create these reflective expressions of the ponds around his home in Hampshire. My name is Rupert and this is my studio um, barn, which is also where I hang my paintings once they're finished. I describe my art um, as derived from nature, but quite expressionistic. So it's like going for a walk, remembering the feeling of that walk, and then translating it into paint. I arrived at egg tempera, um, which is a really ancient medium that predates oil painting. Um, after a show of oil paintings, it seemed so dark and heavy. Egg tempera, I was able to be light and quite fluid, and that helped me paint landscape in particular water. Three influences. That's Gerhard Richter, his process driven paintings where he takes a big squeegee and pulls it down and out of that appears a landscape of sort. The other painter is Klimt who actually paints most beautiful landscapes almost to pointillism. The paintings I'm most attracted to are from whatever age, whatever genre, have light in them and I've always wanted to capture light whatever I paint and choosing landscape, trees, leaves, um, water in particular, to try and paint that is what really influenced me. Rupert's process is really fascinating. So he'll capture this moment in nature, right? Like a, a momentary reflection on his pond. And his painting will become a large scale interpretation of that moment of serenity. Now, egg tempura is a fast drying medium. So it requires layers and layers of paint, months to create a finished piece. And Rupert himself is someone who, who just emanates this regal calm. So you have these evanescent moments expressed in this soothing but ancient technique. It's very powerful. I like the daily ritual of painting, and I don't mean that just as painting, going for a walk, observing how I look around me and can translate everything back into a painting when I get home. Another part of what I love is the end product. It's a very satisfying idea to sort of make something and something you've crafted and put so much love and attention into actually becomes a piece that will probably, hopefully, outlive me and give people a lot of pleasure. Uh, for a younger artist, I would just say keep going. If you are passionate about what you do, um, perseverance is everything. And the more you explore what you're interested in, I think the better you, you become. Art to me is a state of being, it's a state of mind. Personally, it's about really living in the present and trying to capture exactly what I'm feeling right now in a two-dimensional form. Art is, or painting, is really part of who I am, what I am, um, and as I grow older, it becomes more so. There are certain sacrifices you make to do it. Um, it takes up a lot of time, effort, energy. Uh, you say no to other opportunities. You choose to be an artist. Mm -hmm.